We just living in a war zone. A shooting took place around 1 in the morning Tuesday at the Village Apartments on Raymond Road. One lady who chose not to be on camera woke up to the shots, and that's when she got up to check on her kids. And the kids informed me that they wonder what shot in. The thing I'm thinking is, what if something would have hit them? And then I got angry. Her neighbor's apartment was also shot into, as well as Cassandra Frost's daughter's car. A special need grandbaby to live here. Suppose she had been in that front seat where the window was busted at. She could have got shot. She could have, you know, they, it could have been tragic. JPD was seen Tuesday morning helping people in the complex file police reports, but Frost says that it doesn't help much and says that there's been multiple people seen on the property, including kids walking around with guns, even though signs at the entrance specifically say no guns. If you need a chopper, that means you're trying to kill up a whole lot of people. The military rifles, who need a gun that be? There's nothing wrong with having a gun but a assault rifle. Every day, you, you can't. I saw a little boy over here last week. Probably when he five foot had a gun longer than him. The issue with both guns and shootings on the property has Frost and many others who live here frustrated as concerns for their safety rise. The fatality rate is it's going it's gonna study go up. It's gonna study go up until something is done about it. And the only way something gonna be done, parents gotta discipline their kids. The complex has security measures, including both cameras and patrolling. We reached out to the management for the Section 8 housing complex and they had no comment. Madeline Nolan, 16, WAPT News.